This enormous nodule contains one of our biggest ever Dactyloceros ammonites. We're pretty sure it is our third biggest example of this species, with the other examples only being slightly larger than this one. We could see the beautiful ammonite keel showing all the way around the edge. Just look at that. We were lucky enough to find it fresh out, so there had been no erosion on this specimen whatsoever. Preserved 180 million years ago, we are now exposing this beast with our fossil preparation tools. The outermost whirl of this ammonite is beautifully pyrotized. There are lots of gorgeous colorations going on with this specimen. Some of the matrix is quite difficult to remove. The limestone is stuck very strongly to parts of the fossil. And you can see there some of that golden pyrite shining. Piece by piece, we get closer and closer to removing the limestone from the innermost worlds of the ammonite. Due to the rock being quite stuck onto the fossil itself, it's going to be quite a challenge to fully prepare this one. But we have no doubt it is going to be worth it. Changing to various tools helps remove some of the more difficult pieces of limestone from this specimen. Every minute that passes, we're making more and more progress, and so far, over a couple of hours has already elapsed. Part of the fossil had a natural fracture possibly due to the limestone being stuck to it so strongly. We can now reattach this piece nice and safely, and by the time it's fully finished and restored, you shouldn't be able to tell that there has been any damage to the fossil itself, or any part where the natural fractures have opened up. Now that that's prepared, we can continue finishing off the fossil. You can really see this specimen starting to come back to life now. There's not much more to go. In reality, the amount of work left represents a good couple more hours, but here we are showing you the overall process of what's involved taking it from that initial large rock to the finished, fully prepared, three-dimensional ammonite. Thankfully the ammonite is fully preserved all the way down to the centre. Every now and again preparing a specimen this large, you quite often find that they are unfortunately not fully preserved, but this one is, and measures in, and definitely our third biggest example. It's one of the commonest species to find, however to find such a large example of it in such perfect condition is really rare. There are, of course, many different species which we have found that are much bigger than this one. But for this species, this is almost as good as it gets. In just a moment, we will see the fully finished specimen. The final touches now involve using one of our latest tools to microscopically remove the tiniest pieces of limestone. And here we have the finished ammonite. 
It really is a beauty to behold. We have removed as much rock as safely possible in order to reveal this beautiful, partially piratized Jurassic Ammonite. This is definitely one of the best finds of the year so far and without a doubt is going into our Ammonite collection where it will take pride of place next to only a couple of other Ammonites of similar magnitude of this species. What an absolutely superb find and unremarkable preparation.